So people, how are you going today? And here I have a second lot of Greek coins. Now, this set is actually missing the 10 of 50 left up, but that's okay. They are pretty much in the same style as this one. So here are 50 left up, 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20 drachma. And as Greek coins, these are actually one of my favorite sets. So, on the 50, you have a just a stylized pattern. This is probably taken from either a carving or pottery. Probably um, made some either in the classical period or the pre-classical, like Mycenaean times. And is this type of pattern here is really, it's basically just Greek style. So... On the one and two, you have the uh, Athenian owl who was associated with uh, Athens and the Greek goddess Athena, who is portrayed down here. And this is the actual the type of design that was taken from the ancient Athenian coins. They were it was used on um, base metal coins, the obelus and the drachma and the tetradrachma. And the attached drachma is just like four drachmas, and it was the main trading coin at the time of the Athenian Empire, probably about from probably five, 450 to around about 400 BC. And this design was actually used on ancient Greek coins from about 500 BC to 200 BC. On the five and ten, you have Pegasus. Who is a, it's a winged horse? He's actually quite famous. He was um, sired by Poseidon, who was a Greek uh, god of the ocean. And every time he put his heels on the ground, supposedly thunder and lightning and earthquakes come out of it. And this is my favourite coin actually, because I love this design. I've always have. It's very um very good how they um use the horse, Pegasus, and the denomination and it just goes well together. On the also has the the name of um the uh engraver here and the designer. On the twin drachma has uh, Athena and she has a typical um oh what is it what's that city? Corinthian helmet, I believe that is. And this is most likely horse here, up here. And this is in the classical Greek style of carvings. We can see a lot of uh, monuments which the Romans actually copied. You can actually search Wikipedia and look for a lot of them. So, on the reverse we have a phoenix, which was introduced by the military junta. Uh, in 1973 and that was just a dictatorial military regime and it wasn't actually pleasant but these coins are quite good so he's rising out of the flames so every day the phoenix would die oh probably not every day when it's light it ends the phoenix would die so and it would a new one would rise out of the dead corpse of the old phoenix and there's two versions, either the phoenix died and decomposed and then new one rose out of that. Or the phoenix burst into flames and burnt and then a new phoenix rose out of that. Different authors have different versions. But anyway, this is probably um, symbolising the uh, renewal of Greece, Greek democracy, probably after the military junta I said there was an issue by the military junta yeah around about that time so it's probably just like the renewal of Greece okay so if you have a closer look yeah focus it's quite a good design I like that and down below here is the actual uh, designer if you have a look at the other side this is a uh, has a lettering around 
Yeah, so it just says Aleniki. Okay. Democratia. So it just means Greek democracy. And here is the Athenian design. Looks quite good, beautiful design. And if we have a look at the close up of the Phoenix, oh, not the Phoenix, Pegasus. Looks quite good. I love this design, very good. These ones are milled. So if you have a look at the sides, you can see that the bronze middle ones are milled. The five drachma is unmilled, just flat. The ten is milled, and the twenty has, um, as I said before, lettering, Eleniki Demokratia. Okay, so they are the Greek coins of the early 70s, actually 1973. These are all one year types. Love them. I encourage you to collect them. Great coins are quite beautiful. And the ones after this are basically just as good. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. And watch more of my videos because I like to show you everything about coins. And try to explain as much as I can about coins. Thank you very much and have a nice coin collecting day.